ഹായ് എവരി വൺ വെൽക്കം ബാക്ക് ടു എസ് ജി കെ ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് ഫോർ എ ന്യൂ വീഡിയോ ടുഡേ ലെറ്റ് എസ് ലേൺ എ ന്യൂ ടോപ്പിക് എ നോട്ടീസ് റൈറ്റിംഗ് സോ ആക്ച്വലി വോട്ട് ഈസ് എ നോട്ടീസ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് എ റിട്ടൺ ഓർ പ്രിൻറ്റഡ് പീസ് ഓഫ് ഇൻഫർമേഷൻ ടാർജറ്റഡ് ടുവേഴ്സ് എ പെർട്ടിക്കുലർ ഗ്രൂപ്പ് ഓഫ് പീപ്പിൾ I repeat, it is a written or printed piece of information uh, targeted for a uh, particular group of people or audience. Okay, it may cover an information, an incident, an event, a function, a program or a general instruction. It can be an instruction. Uh, it can be an information it can be uh, related with an incident or event or whatever be so there is a format for writing a notice especially on the examination point of view so what all things are to be taken care of what are the points to remember while writing a notice number 1 uh, points to remember okay uh, number 1 uh, the length of the notice should be Uh, 50 words so you are not supposed to write a long essays or long long sentences so try to limit within the stipulated i mean a length that is uh, 50 words then uh, so that uh, only relevant points are to be mentioned you need not mention all the details or uh, long sentences relevant points only are to be mentioned while writing a notice then uh, follow the format of writing a notice especially on the examination point of view yes uh, then um, try to express using passive voice and indirect speech so you, will, you have always to use a passive voice uh, it is informed uh, uh, not necessary all the way should be in passive uh, often you have to use passive voice and reporter speech then avoid using first person so generally you will be asked to write a notice so you are writing on behalf of maybe uh, your school college or like that not necessary all notice should be in uh, that person so for example your uh, principal is giving a notice that uh, i do hereby inform all the students maybe all the teachers also Uh, that you have to be present by 10 o'clock tomorrow or by 8 o'clock tomorrow or anything a notice can be even first person also can be but uh, on the examination point of view uh, you will be asked to write something a notice uh, then uh, you have to follow uh, this uh, third person don't write the first person i or we so you have to follow this okay which is better to write in third person while writing a notice so mark all the points to remember number 1 length should be limited this is a format we are going to see and then uh, format should be strictly followed then try to express using passive voice and <coughs> indirect speech then uh, it is better that you express your ideas using i mean um, uh, third person not first person i or we now let us come to the format the format of writing a notice there is no need of writing format of notice uh, just to draw a, a line or a rectangular column like this it is better that you draw it uh, it's not a compulsory but it is better that you draw it then name of the organization maybe most probably the name of the your school okay or college it can be school college whatever okay then write in capital letters a notice okay you write in capital letters the word notice then uh, the title should be given so regarding what is a topic subject matter should be given as a title uh, same then date of notice should be given on the left side date of notice okay then body of that notice okay that should write here we are going to see uh, what all things are to be there body of the letters in the same way body of writing a notice then signature name and designation of whoever is issuing the notice study the format very uh, strictly or very clearly 
uh, write the name of the organization, uh, write notice in capital letters, uh, give the topic as title, then date, then body we are going to see, then signature, name and designation. Yes, I hope it is clear to you. This is a uh, format of writing a notice. It's better that you use your uh, uh, pencil and scale and draw a column rectangular like this and write in that. Okay, uh, don't write this format of notice. Write name of the organization or school, college, etc. Then write the heading notice in capital letters. Then title, then date, then body we are going to see. Signature, name and designation. Yes, so take for example, for example, uh, your school is organizing a summer camp. Your school is organizing a summer camp for training students in badminton and cricket from 18th December to 30th December. Simply an imaginary date. We know that on, uh, in the month of December we cannot conduct any summer camp. It's the best time to study, prepare for examination. Okay, so take some other date. Uh, suitable date okay maybe April or May that is a more suitable date for you okay it will be there in the question paper now so accordingly you have to follow okay uh, take for example 18th December to 30th December I mean um, in the school campus sometimes place also will be mentioned write a notice asking the students to give their names at the earliest so you are asked to write a notice asking the students to give their names at the earliest Okay, that is what you have to do. So, what is the body? What are things that we taking care of? What is the notice about? It is here now. Uh, summer camp for training students. Simply summer camp enough. As a uh, title. Summer camp enough. Okay, then who is addressed to? Of course, students. No, it is here. Yes, students of the school. Uh, then, when and where? When it is going to be taken place, date is given here, where school campus mentioned, it's understood that uh, summer camp for children means in your school. You can mention in our school campus, you can mention or college campus, you can mention. Uh, then the instructions, okay, uh, means uh, what you have to do, give your names uh, uh, to the following people, where something will be mentioned there, you have to mention whom to give the names if it is so. Okay, it is given here now, give the names. To whom should be given, not the principal. Well, there will be someone who is in charge of that. Uh, I mean, a students club may be there, or sports uh, secretary will be there, or something like that. Okay, now, you have to find out so whom to give that. Even class teacher also can be. Okay, then whom to contact or get in touch with. So, for this, whom to contact. So, whom to contact, uh, you have to mention someone, maybe class teacher most probably or something, someone like that. Okay, so you have to take care of these five things that is should be there in the body of the notice. So what is the notice about? Uh, there will be subject matter, not always some training camp, no, it can be anything. Okay, now, a, new, a notice. So who is addressed to? To students of uh, your school. You can mention your, the name of your school. Okay, then place and time. So where and when, or when and where, time and place the instructions given uh, in the notice and whom to contact or get in touch with even giving names uh, whom should uh, you give your names to okay now all these things should be these five things should be there while writing the body of uh, the notice this is uh, formal see once again a uh, name of the school or organization notice here uh, even capital letters title uh, here is summer uh, training camp uh, summer camp or summer training camp okay uh, don't give so long a heading, summer training camp uh, for students in badminton and cricket. No need of giving that. Summer camp, summer training camp, small heading, two, three words. Okay. Uh, then date, body, signature, name and designation of whoever is issuing the uh, notice. So these all things are to be there in the notice while writing a notice answering this question. Okay. Na? Uh, once go through, we are moving to the answer to this question, this example. Before that, once see the structure, uh, format, what all things are to be taken care of and the points to remember. Okay, now? Yes, let us see how it should be answered. Okay. Now, let us check how to answer that question. See, look here. First name of the school, Aditya Talent School or college 
or both you can write accordingly not necessary you must write this you can take an imaginary name according to the question okay it is only an example so then in capital letters notice so you are writing a notice notice writing it should be in capital letters then the date not not exactly this date date according to the question you have to uh, restructure okay heading summer camp is enough or sports summer camp then see the uh, to subject uh, this is to inform all students that a summer camp is going to be organized it is going to be organized for training students in badminton and cricket from 18th december to 30th december 2021 so in the first line itself we summarize almost all the things that are to be informed so what are to be informed should be there in the first sentence itself there is no detailed explanation okay i repeat once again this is to inform all students that a summer camp is going to be organized for training students in badminton and cricket from 18th december to 30th december 2021 ah in the school campus something more is here as yes, the location the in the school campus okay those who are interested not compulsory you know whoever is interested i uh, may give their names to the undersigned that's the best way of explanation because it can be any class teacher i mean even the principal or a sports secretary or something okay to the undersigned by 15th september 2021 so 10th september notice is given in 5 days time you have to give uh, the names only two sentences given here you can write one or two sentences more no problem okay uh, instead of exceeding so much so 50 words is the uh, limit okay so uh, give their names undersigned by 15 september 2021 rahul rajesh sports secretary yes so is an imaginary name you can give some other name non necessary sports secretary or uh, class teacher uh, name can be given uh, rahul rajesh uh, class teacher okay so class teacher cannot give the notice no so you are giving the uh, writing a notice given by the school so name should be given to the sports secretary okay na yes so you are writing a notice uh, asking the students to give their names to whom sports secretary of the school okay na i hope it is clear to you see once again the method of writing aditya talent school or the name of the institution then heading uh, the notice in capital letters a uh, date uh, then heading is this title sports summer camp okay then this is to inform all students that a summer camp is going to be organized for training students in badminton and cricket from 18 december to 30th december 2021 uh, in the school campus those who are interested may give their names to the undersigned okay by 15 september 2021 rahul rajesh sports secretary uh, name is uh, nimajari one simply uh, put that name that is all i hope this is clear to you once again go through it if any doubt remaining let me know it i will surely clarify uh, for more updates subscribe to channel sjk english thank you